Good morning, everybody, and welcome to Classroom Champions Live. My name is Emily Cook. I'm a three-time Olympian in the sport of freestyle aerial skiing, and I am also our athlete mentor manager here at Classroom Champions. So this morning, we are going to give you a little peek into what we do at Classroom Champions. If you're interested in learning more about um, the rest of the stuff that we do at Classroom Champions, you can always look at teach.classroomchampions.org. But this morning, we are welcoming you to Tasty Tuesday, and we have some amazing athletes with us today. We have bobsledder Tiffany Parker. We have um, track and field long jumper and triple jumper uh, Divya Biswal. And we have paracyclist and two-time Olympic uh, Paralympic medalist uh, Samantha Bosco. So um, let's start off by introducing Tiffany Parker. Tiffany is a Team USA bobsledder. Um, I think we have a little bit of video of Tiffany here to show you guys at home what Tiffany does. Um, Tiffany, can you tell us a little bit about your sport? Yeah, um, definitely went from the summer to the winter life. Um, bobsled is, it's, it is something. It is a rush. Um, super cool component. I'm a brakeman, so I'm the person in the back, uh, the horsepower of the sled. And it's just, a, it's, it's a very interesting dynamic having two people in the sled going plus 90 miles an hour, um, depending on the track. So yeah, it's just, it's, it's a rush. I will say that. Perfect. Well, Tiffany, you are the perfect person to lead um, Tasty Tuesday today. Tiffany also has a <laughs> strong background in nutrition and health. So she's going to talk with Sam and Divya about um, Tasty Tuesday, about some healthy snacks that everybody can make at home. So next, I want to introduce uh, Divya Biswal. So Divya is um, on Team Canada, but she is today in uh, <laughs> California. So we'll talk a little bit about how we have a whole California crew today. So um, <laughs> Divya is an Olympic hopeful in the long jump and triple jump, and uh, also an avid dog mom and chef in her spare time. So Divya, tell us a little bit about your sport. Hi. Um so basically, I jump into sand for a living. It sounds really fun. Um, <laughs> you get really dirty. Uh, I am was hoping to go to the Olympics this year. Obviously, those have been postponed. So my Olympic dream is on hold for now. But um, yeah, you know, track and field is all about being fast and working hard and lifting and running. But I love to tell people, like, you just have to remember why you love what you're doing. So even though the Olympics are delayed, I love what I do, so I wouldn't change it for the world. So yeah, so I'm just running right now. <laughs> Perfect. Well, thanks for being with us, Divya. And we also have um, Samantha Bosco with us today. So Sam is a two-time Paralympic bronze medalist in both road cycling and track cycling. So Sam, thank you so much for being with us today. Sam's also um, one of our uh, athlete mentors for Classroom Champions. So she mentors kids all over the U.S. Sam, tell us a little bit about your sport as well. Hi, so I like to ride my bike. Um, I was riding since I was six years old. I had a little break, took up rowing. And along the way, got back into the sport and I just like to go fast. And basically when I'm tired, I'm already in a position where I'm laying down <laughs> or it feels like it, so it's not so bad. <laughs> But I have fun with it and I get to travel all over, meet people and share my story. Perfect. Well, thanks so much for being here today, all three of you guys. We are going to dive right into Tasty Tuesday. Tiffany, I'm going to let you take it away. Um, just a quick reminder to everybody at home, feel free to put your questions in the comment box and we will make sure that we get to them throughout today's session. So Tiffany, take it away. Yeah. Um, just to kind of give you guys the overview of like why healthy living is so important for you guys at home. Um, I know as athletes, me, Div and Sam, um, making sure that your body is fueled to be able to handle the stress that you put on it is so important because that plays a factor in us mentally and how we interact with our coaches, how we interact with our training partners. Um, and just how we, we get back to what Div said, knowing your why and truly just having fun and loving what you do. Um, making sure that your body is fueled. So you guys heard me talk about um, a little bit. One second, sorry. <laughs> you guys heard me talk a little bit about a turn your guys' phones off when you uh, have to do things on a live. But B, um, making sure that you guys um, are getting those healthy snacks in. So I like to talk about green lights, yellow lights, and red lights. Green lights are going to be your fruits and your vegetables. So making sure you guys um, are getting those greens in. Those are 
any amount of greens that you want to get in, fruits and vegetables. Yellow lights are going to be your um, grains. So your lean meats, um, your pastas, your rices, making sure when you're eating yellows, you kind of just like slow down a little bit. You don't want to overeat them, but you can have them. And then you have your red light foods. So you can have red light foods that are healthy for you, like your peanut butters, people that are allergic to nuts, like your sunflower butters. Um, you can also have like your avocados, like those are good healthy fats, but also you can have like your unhealthy snack foods, which we'll go through a little round circle and talk about our unhealthy snacks that we all like to eat as athletes. Um, so I'm super stoked to kind of talk to you guys about that. But yeah, that's going to be kind of the overview of what we're going to get into to into today. Um, we got Sam and Div here in the kitchen, just kind of living it up. So I want to ask um, kind of Div, like, what are you what are you going to cook for the kids today? And then we'll pan over to Sam. Well, because I am a Canadian living in California and it's really hot here, I thought I would show you all how to make fruit pops. Nice. nice <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Sam, what do we got? Uh, because I love peanut butter and apples, I am making tea. <laughs> Apple tea snacks, eating marshmallows. I love it. And everyone at home, if you're allergic to peanut butter or nuts, like I know you can use sunflower butter. Um, that's actually one of my favorites. But yeah, I'm super excited for you guys to to get cooking in the kitchen. Um, yeah. So yeah, who wants? I guess we'll go. We'll go with Div first. You can. Tell us a little bit oh. about what you're making. Um, Sam, if you right. want to start the process of what you need to make it, you can start doing what you do. And then we'll, we'll pan and ask questions for, bo for both of you guys. So thank you, Kip. Um, yeah, yeah. The reason how I came up with this snack is because I am that person who wants to eat healthy. I buy tons of fruit and then I don't eat it. So <laughs> I needed to find a way to turn this into a yummy snack where um, – I could use up my fruit that was starting to go a little bit bad and I could freeze it. And so I thought what better way than to turn this into popsicles because who doesn't love popsicles? So what I do is I take any juice. I had leftover grapefruit. So I squeezed my grapefruit into a cup and then I mm -hmm. added a little bit of sparkling water to it just to like make more of it without using if you don't have a lot of fruit. And then I had raspberries, blueberries, and I cut up a little bit of peach. If you're gonna be cutting something, please have an adult supervise you. Healthy and delicious, yes. <laughs> um, <laughs> and so it's really easy. So if you have a popsicle tray, um, I think you can order them on Amazon, but you don't need one. I use a big ice cube tray. Um, I just like to do these as ice cubes because I put them in my juice or my water to um, brighten up I don't like drinking water, but water is good for you. So I like to put, yeah, I love your fruity, I, I like to put <laughs> fruity ice cubes in my water. So you basically just take your fruit and you divvy it up in your ice cubes, however much or as little as you want. And then you go through and you pour your juice into the mold. And then we're literally just going to freeze it. And that's it. Super easy. Nice. Yeah. I was on the last Tasty Tuesday. I will probably be on all the Tasty Tuesdays, Tanya. <laughs> <laughs> but, Dave, that's super awesome. I love the add of the sparkling water. Like, that's genius, Thank especially you. if you are, like, at, like, the brim of your juice and yeah. you're just like, no, oh, there's not quite yeah. enough. <laughs> that's the source. You know, I, I definitely like think, like, a lot of people have oranges or even you could put lemons or limes. You can do anything with this. It's really just whatever combination you like. I'm going through a grapefruit phase. So awesome. We have a lot of grapefruit. So yeah, thank you. I love it. Cool, cool. Um, Sam, let's talk about what you're cooking. I see you chopping up some apples over there. Yeah, so basically it's super simple. Apples, peanut butter, or sunflower butter, or anything else if you are allergic to peanut butter. Um, sometimes we even use Nutella which don't Ooh. use too often. That's a good but red light. <laughs> if you don't have an apple core, just cut it in fours. And then I like to, so if you cut it in the fours, I like to just cut at a slant or have your mom or dad cut at a slant because sharp objects. Yeah. Um, cut rid of the core and then you just make small slices. Um, doesn't matter which size really, but 
uh, the, it's easier if it's smaller. And then you just put peanut butter in the middle and some marshmallows and make fun teeth. You can even change up the idea. So like if you put, you can use a spoon for the peanut butter and put peanut butter on each slice of apple. Hopefully. <laughs> um, I love this. <laughs> So you put the peanut butter on. I like to put a lot on because I love peanut butter, but you don't have to. All right. So um, and then all the kids out there, Sam said you could have extra peanut butter. <laughs> Just kidding. Ask your parents. <laughs> <laughs> and then you just put marshmallows on the peanut butter. You can even play around with it and put some almonds for fangs, if it's, especially if it's around Halloween time. Look no. like Dracula. Mm. And then you just put the other slice on top. And it's like a mini sandwich or a mini mouth. Ah, that's so, so cool. <laughs> um, Chloe, if you can't eat peanut butter, um, you can use sunflower seed butter as an option. I'm not sure if you are allergic to hazelnut. I know Sam said she likes to use uh, Nutella, which is a cool red light that you can use for it. Um, but yeah. Sunflower butter is a great alternative um, if you have allergies to nut butters. Um, I guess the next kind of questions I have for you guys are like growing up, um, what were some of your favorite like fruits and vegetables, Viv? Like what was your what was your favorite vegetable growing up? So my favorite vegetable then and now was corn. I love corn. I'm not sure like where that falls in the <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how much nutritional value corn has, but I love it. But if I'm going to go for a green light, I love arugula. Arugula. It's just good in salads. It doesn't, yeah. it doesn't wilt. It doesn't, it stays crispy. So you could make a salad and put it in your fridge and it's not wilted and gross the next day. So great green light vegetable. Good to know. I never, I, you were the first person that has ever told me arugula. So you yep. just continue to amaze me. <laughs> so I know we talked about before, yep. everyone on this call is from Southern California. Um, I have, uh, Sam, I got a question for you about what your favorite veggie is, and then we're going to dig into some California loving. So yeah, what's your, uh, what was your favorite vegetable growing up, Sam? I, I really had to think about this one because I couldn't really remember. <laughs> 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 I, I used to all the time not my favorite vegetable now but i used to eat them all the time my mom says my vision is so good because i ate them so much <laughs> i love it i love it i would have to say my favorite vegetable um i really love tomatoes like I can you eat, and so, I know it's weird. It's <laughs> I such can a weird a vegetable. I know I can eat a tomato. Wait. Like I know it's technically a fruit, but um, yeah, I can eat. <laughs> <laughs> I can eat a tomato like you eat an apple. Like I, it's, if it's a good one, I can go in the refrigerator, grab a tomato, and just go for it. Oh my like, god! That is, I know. I used to used to train with Div, and she just learned something new about me today. I did. Uh, <laughs> so. I know a lot of people during this time are just kind of having some struggles with, um, oh, and then we'll find out what people um, are eating at home. So as for their favorite veggies, so you guys put that in. Um, we'll probably talk about it. If it's arugula, you and Div will be best friends. Um, so we'll see if we have people out there. Um, but back to being from, from sunny California, um, I know for me, like, I loved being outside. Me and Div have been to, to tracks and just kind of hanging out running, doing yeah. all the things. Um, Sam, you being able to cycle outside in the sun. Um, I know for me, like I loved having training partners and I loved being around people and a lot of the kids at home that they don't have siblings. Um, they're just kind of by themselves. So oh, what I are- love snap peas. <laughs> what are, no, you're okay. You talk away. <laughs> what are the things that um, you guys have done during this time that kind of gives you that feeling back of either like being with training partners or being with friends? Um, what are some creative things you guys have been doing? to keep busy? Well, I guess I'll, I'll just go first. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Um, so I'm in a unique cabbage. situation. Ooh, I actually like boiled cabbage. You Me too. It. It's, <laughs> pot. it's pretty good. Um, so I have an interesting situation where this year my twin sister actually moved to California to train with me. And obviously with coronavirus and her not having, um, she's not a citizen 
of this country. So she went back to Canada. So it has been really lonely. So I think I FaceTime her like 10 times a day. So I'm just FaceTiming all of my friends trying to keep in touch. I FaceTimed Tiff yesterday for 30 minutes after our prep call. Um, but I'm just trying to like be really interactive. I know there's a lot of apps like Strava where you can kind of interact with other people who are running similar routes or you can comment and like their activities. So I'm just trying to stay active and talk to my friends as much as possible. Yeah, yeah. that's so awesome. Sam, what are some things that you're doing? So I live with my trading partner. <laughs> I mean, my number one nice. partner is- Nice, good call. So can be self-isolating together. <laughs> Uh, we still get out and ride and try to just kind of maintain some normalcy. Um, the velodrome is closed. There's no being able to go to that, which is a bummer. And like we have to do weight training at home, which is totally fine because we are allowed, we are still able to get outside. Mm -hmm. um, and then we also use Zwift, Z W I F T, and it's you can use it for uh, riding bikes or running and you can actually go online and basically ride bikes with other people virtually. So they're riding yeah. at the same time you are, and then you can kind of like make little groups. So whenever I feel kind of like jonesing for that connection and missing my group ride a little too much, I get on there and I feel like that I'm riding with other people. <laughs> yeah. It's like you're back in your pack. <laughs> That's so awesome. I know there's a bunch of kids that are saying they like sunflower butter or they need to learn more about sunflower butter um someone chloe mentioned like she loves oranges and fruit um and i know someone was out there saying avocado an avocado a day i am an avid californian avocado toaster like no other um i'm glad that was our collective decision <laughs> but um div i want to go back to how long do we have to keep your your pops inside of the freezer so all the kids um, just that until they make. freeze probably an hour like just okay. literally you can touch them or you'll yeah. know it's like however long an ice cube takes to freeze just yeah cool deal stick well i love that. it um i know sam over there with her her fangs i love the almond idea i think that's really cool to kind of spice it up for a holiday um and i guess kind of to I summer <laughs> i know it's so cool Do you, and she even put little raisins to mimic little cavities <laughs> so we talked a lot about healthy foods and what we love um, before we wrap up, because I like for people to realize that like as athletes, we're all still normal people too. Um, by normal, like we eat unhealthy foods as well. So I want to ask you guys, like what's your favorite unhealthy go-to? We'll start with well, Sam first this time. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know I called you out. <laughs> well, first of all, I want to tell Chloe, try the making the teeth or the, the yeah try making the teeth with orange slices and maybe honey to have the marshmallow stick that way you don't even have to use any kind of butter um as for not so healthy treats oh man i could go on for days but my go-to is a root beer float like if i've had a hard ride i come home and that's like the first thing I as a root beer flow. If there's not root beer in the fridge, I get kind of sad. <laughs> oh oh. All right, root beer float is your go-to, Dave. What about you? That sounds so good. Um, I know, this right? This is really embarrassing. I don't, I don't broadcast this publicly, but I love McDonald's. I love a Big Mac. I love fries. I love their soft serve <laughs> ice cream. It's not good for you, and I don't recommend eating it often. I, I maybe have it like once every few months, but when I do, I am in heaven. <laughs> Yeah, I, I might have to side with you. I love fries. Like I am a fry connoisseur, meaning like all different types of fries from all over the place. Like I would say my the most favorite fries I have ever had was um, for bobsled. We get a chance to kind of travel all over and we were in Germany and like McDonald's curly fries in Germany are the best fries I've had in my life. So really? I'm with you guys there. Um, and someone said they love diet cherry coke. I'm not really a soda person. I'm not. Neither. Yeah. It's yeah. all right. Sam Sam's held down the fort for that. Yeah. So I guess to kind I of <laughs> just rip your floats. I love it. I guess to kind of just like wrap up all the healthy things that you've kind of you both of you guys, and thank you so much, have thrown out at me and, and allowed the kids at home to make with um, friends, family, whoever's inside of the house with them, um, kind of overseeing the chopping process. Um, 
to bring it back to like why healthy living is so important. Um, we talked about our unhealthy foods that we like, like with Div, it's fries, with Sam, it's root beer floats. Um, well, I'm fries, Div is McDonald's as a whole. Um, but there are healthy aspects too. So it's all about connecting like your mind and your body and, and really building your engine. Um, you know, Div ate McDonald's every single day. There's no way that she'd be able to go out and train and have mental clarity and really be able to focus um, on the important things, especially now that the games has been pushed back, like she's just had to adapt and she's had to kind of change what her original plan was. And it doesn't mean that it's over. It's just like kind of stepping back, taking a deep breath and saying like, I'm supposed to be here now, but like now this is where I'm going. So you just kind of step back, pivot and go back on your journey. You just have a different um, time frame. Same thing for Sam, um, making sure that you're getting in those those healthy fruits and vegetables and um, those yellow light foods like your brown pastas, your your wheat breads, um, things of that sort, your your lean meats, whatever you have at home that can be um, kind of a fuel source for you as you're you know like going on pretty extensive bike rides. Um, I guess to kind of summarize it all is like those are all things that are important for us to make sure that. Um, our engines are fueled and we're able to be the best athletes that we can be. Um, so I, I definitely just kind of want all of you guys at home. Someone's talking about, Oh, waffles is their go-to treat. I love waffles too. Um, so yeah, I love a good waffle, but um, to kind of bring it all together, I want to challenge you guys at home, like make your favorite unhealthy snack. Like if you want to make a waffle, like, Show me the picture of the waffle and jazz it up to whatever you guys feel your little heart desires. Um, I want to see it. I want to see your guys' favorite healthy snacks as well. Um, get creative with it. Like I knew Div was going to bring out some fruit. Like I froze some blueberries for the first time in my life. I didn't know frozen blueberries were like going to be good. They were prime time. So I want you guys like share, um, have your parents take a picture and share it on the Facebook, like invite um, your friends to like, virtually like me and Div do FaceTime and make the snacks that we're making for Tasty Tuesday. Um, yeah, let us know about it. And if you guys have any questions at home, write comments inside of the Facebook Live and we'll definitely get back to you. Um, at the end of this call, there will be handouts so you guys can make Div's um, popsicles or Sam's little smiley faces with peanut butter and, and marshmallows. And she definitely um, gave the non nut butter allergy people um, the orange slices and honey. That was a great tip there. Um, so yeah, that kind of concludes our tasty Tuesday. I don't know if Em's going to come back on and hang out with us, but thank you guys. I learned so much about you and, um, yeah, I'm pretty sure the kids and everyone watching at home, are going to have such a good time making all these snacks. All right. Yeah. Thank you guys so I'm much. Sure. And I'm going to try that. Thank you, Javia. I like yeah. it. <laughs> cookie dough and root beer from Zachary and Liana. Thank you guys so much for joining us today. Um, as Tiffany said, put your comments in the comment stream. We'll answer them as the day goes on. And please feel free to join us back here tomorrow for Wisdom Wednesday. We will have Canadian bobsledder Alicia Rissling with us tomorrow. Thanks, everybody, and see you soon. Bye. <laughs> Bye.